Okay, so today I was really just thinking to myself, I was like, oh, I was like, there's a hair in my mouth. Um, I was just thinking, I was like, what can you film? Like, your life is so uneventful that the only events happening in your life are when a package comes in the mail. So I was like, hmm, like, dang, like, what could I film? And then I was like, dang, I have no ideas, nothing, like, zero... Ideas gone. Any possible idea I could do, can't do. So I'm like, hmm, what could I do in this moment right now? And you know what? You know what I thought? I thought, why don't I share my music taste with the world? Because, to be honest now, listen. I don't want to say I have good music taste, because to be honest, I don't. But I love my music taste, duh. And I just think it's, um, diverse. I mean, it's not that diverse. Like, it's not... <laughs> It's not that diverse, specifically now in this moment, because I'm kind of in my K-pop era. But as a whole, my music taste is diverse, I would say. Um, so right now, I'm just going to be showing some songs I'm into right now. Disclaimer, a lot of them might be K-pop. Not all of them are going to be K-pop. But like... A lot of them are. So I'm just going to go through my Spotify and like pick out the songs I like. And I don't know if I'm going to play snippets. Because to be honest, do I want to get copyrighted? I don't really care, but like that's so much work like putting in all the snippets. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to start off with Red Velvet. I love their song, Bombaleo. Amazing. It's I think it's a B-side, so it's not even a single. And it's so good, like... Why is Bombaleo so good? Like, I'm not gonna sing it, but it's really good. Just take my word for it. Two... I listen to Otto, so basically they're a Japanese singer, if you didn't know. But they're really talented, honestly. They're really young, too. I think they might be the same age as me. And they did, like, the One Piece Red soundtrack, but I just discovered their music after. And they're, like, really talented. And my favorite song... Well, I have two favorites. Number one, right now, my favorite is Kura Kura. I'm probably saying that wrong. Don't care. I listen to it, okay? It's basically the Spy Family intro, so it's, like, fun. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, Spy Family. And it's good. It's a good song. But overall, my favorite auto song, I gotta find it, because I want to show you. Himawari. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. The saddest, most beautiful song ever to exist. I'm like, dang, like, why am I getting upset? Next song, this album as a whole period so good specifically mosquito so, like i know it's popular but it's popular for a reason it's really good and there's another one in there it might be true romance that i really love too there's another one in there but i can't remember because i just listened to the album on shuffle but pink panthers i love her i wish i got tickets to see her in concert but they were sold out Next one, I actually got into like a day ago. So like literally kind of just discovered it. Perfect Night by La Seraphim is so good. And honestly, it doesn't sound like their sound. Like they have a very um, edgy, more edgy sound, I feel like in their albums. But this one is very like lighthearted and fun. And it's, it's just so good. It's so fun. I love it. Next song. <laughs> I have a couple. I have actually, I remembered another one. Number one, Huasa, Slay Icon, I love Chili. It's like so, I don't want to say it's so bad it's good because it's good. It's amazing, like it's so fun, like it's so random. And I'm like, that's exactly what I need. Like I need distraction, you know? And on that note, I feel like a song similar is Gum by Jessie. Literally so good. This was one that I heard the first time and I was like, I don't know about that. I didn't really vibe with it and then I just kept hearing it everywhere and then I was like wait this is also so fun so take that for what it is next song is my actual favorite right now I remember I think a week ago I literally just kept looping the song like no other songs were playing and that is feather by Sabrina Carpenter it's actually so good and I know I mean I think everyone likes this song because it's one of her top streamed songs but there's something about it there's something fresh about it there's something good about it i'm like whoo give me give me give me give me more like come out with another album like i need more like feather you know and speaking of sabrina we have a song by olivia rodrigo in here and honestly i can't listen to this one a lot because it's really sad so let me pull it up well 
Okay, I actually have a couple by Miss Olivia. Miss Olivia kind of did something. So, making the bed. Are you freaking kidding me? Not my um affirmations. Making the bed is genuinely one of the saddest songs ever lately I've heard. It's so sad, and I that's why I can't listen to it, because I'll just start crying. So, thanks, Olivia, but no thanks, but thanks, you know? The next one is on the Hunger Games soundtrack, and it's called Can't Catch Me Now. Look at her, she's running. She's having so much fun. Oh my God, it's the movie. This song is so good. I feel like the Hunger Games soundtracks are always really well done. And the fact that they got Olivia to sing, I think is really awesome because she did a really good job. So good job, Olivia. Love. Who is next? It's Better Things by Espa. This song is, I think, my favorite song by Espa. It's so good. Like, honestly, and I'm not, I'm not trying to mean this in any offensive way. Like, truly. It's better than all of the songs on drama. And that's just, a, that's a personal opinion. Like, drama is so good. As a whole, it's so good. And as a single, it's so good. But better things is just better. I don't know what to tell you. It just is. There's that. So the next song, TNT by Twice. Okay. This song... Speechless. It's so addicting and the dance is so addicting and this came out so long ago that I'm like Why did it take you so long to hear this song like get it together? It's so and it's just so fun again like lately I've been in a fun kind of mood with songs normally I listen to like depressed music But lately it's been fun and this one's just fun like I, I can't even it's just fun And I, I have another one by choice actually um, cheer up Yes, yes because it is fun because it is fun Okay, it is fun. I don't know what to tell you. It's fun. Let me have fun. Yep, 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 yep. I know what's next. So, Taylor Swift came out with, obviously, 1989, Taylor's version. And at first, it took me a while. I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. Now, I'm really, like, liking the Vault songs. So, I have, like, two, like, favorites. First, Say Don't Go is so sad. Like, ding. Like, yeah, just Say Don't Go. Um, And then, Now That We Don't Talk is, again, fun. But it's also, and it's something different, I feel like, from Taylor. Like, I don't think she's done something like that before. And Is It Over Now? Also great. So, like what is that three out of five vault songs the only vault songs i don't really vibe with as much are suburban legends and slut which are still good but i just like the other three better so like good job taylor like love that okay i'm gonna put this one in and honestly this is gonna be an unpopular opinion nobody oh my god i forgot who it was by i don't know why i just blanked soyan winter and liz I know all these people. Like, I'm not a fake fan. Like, don't come for me. Number one, I was skeptical because look at this. They're all, like, photoshopped into the same photo. And it's a little embarrassing. It's a little Lana Del Rey Pixar. And then I saw the music video. And they also did that. And none of them were together ever. So I was like, hmm. It's a little low budget. But, like, the song great good job they sang their hearts out so that's all we can ask for you know i was about to end the video but like i cannot i cannot end the video right now because guess what xg is so good like they say they're not i don't okay i don't really get it because they say they're not k-pop but they they have a k-pop vibe to them they're like x-pop i don't know but i know they're really good puppet show come on new dance come on and then we have left right like look and I'm, when I say this, I'm dead serious when I say every single one of their songs is good. I'm reading their popular songs. All of them I love. Left, Right, Girl Gang, TGIF, Tippy Toes. They just know how to do it. Like, I cannot explain. And they just came out of nowhere, kind of. Like, I don't know. I think those are all my, like, favorites I can name right now. Sorry, I just, I heard a ghost. So, of course, I listen to, like, a million songs a day. So, those are, like, not the only songs. I listen to but those are just the ones that stand out to me that are like oh like these are my faves you know and this is just for I guess should I say December or November that's been my November favorites um that could totally change by December um we will see and do you guys like my little puppy cat 